Milner, the Russian billionaire behind Breakthrough Listen, a $100 million search for extraterrestrial intelligent life, had already heard about the peculiar object. Umilmua appeared in October, the first interstellar object seen in our solar system. Astronomers around the world chased the mysterious space rock with their telescopes, collecting as much data as possible as they walked away. His observations revealed a really unusual object with disconcerting properties. Scientists have predicted for a long time that an interstellar visitor would one day enter our corner of the universe, but not something like this. The more I study this object, the more unusual it appears, which makes me wonder if it could be an artificial probe that was sent by an alien civilization, Avi Loeb, the director of the Department of Astronomy at Harvard and one of Milner's advisors on Breakthrough. A day later, Milner's assistant called Loeb to Milner's house in Palo Alto. They met there last Saturday to talk about Imiumua, a Hawaiian word for messenger. Loeb toured the peculiarities of space rock, particularly its elongated shape, like a cigar or needle, a strange shape for a common space rock, but ideal for a ship that sails through interstellar space. For Milner, the object became too intriguing to ignore. So he decided to take a closer look. Breakthrough Listen announced on Monday that the program will begin reviewing Umilmua this week for signs of radio signals using the Green Bank Telescope in West Virginia. The interstellar asteroid is now about twice the distance between Earth and the Sun on our planet, moving at a speed of 38.3 km per second. At this close distance, Green Bank can detect the weakest frequencies. It would take the telescope less than a minute to pick up something as weak as the radio waves of a cell phone. If Umilmua is sending signals, we will listen to them. The probability of an alien detection is, as always, small. But it is not zero. Emilner thinks we should check, just in case, before Umilmua is gone forever. The object will pass Jupiter's orbit next year, and by the year 2020 it will plunge beyond Pluto. Whether it is artificial or not, we will definitely know more about this object.